Hey everyone, Scoop Scientist here. Today I'm going to be trying to make oil from plastic. So let's do it. So before we get started, what you're about to see in the next cut is my first attempt at trying to make the oil. I wasn't intending first up to be making that as a video, I was just doing a test. I'd then go on to make the video, but uh, it didn't work the first time, worked the second time, but you'll see all of that in the next cut for this video. So, uh, welcome to the next cut. Um, so this is my uh, not very stable setup. I've got a regular milk carton here, and I have the base. I'm going to heat it up using that. I'm going to put all of, this, all of the plastic in here. So all I can hope for now is for this thing to work. Hopefully, well basically, this melts the plastic, uh, the fumes then go up through this copper pipe here, down this tube there, and bubbles through the water. The water then condenses the gas into an oil. So let's get it started. I can hear it going already and I'm also standing back a bit because who knows what kind of dangers are in with this. Okay, so what was actually happening before, um, there wasn't a good enough connection between this uh, plastic pipe here and the copper pipe there, so the fumes are just kind of coming through there, so we may not get any bubbles through that pipe, but I'll keep it in just in case. And I've also put in a couple of holes at the top there, so just in case it explodes or something, because we can't have that. Oh, did you see that? I got some of it bubbling through. Do you think I'm some more? There we go. I would hope that's a good sign. That it's bubbling through like that. That hopefully means I'm making oil. So check this out. This was part of the uh, molten plastic, I assume it was. So I poured it into this little blue tack mold. So I got a little chunk of plastic. So it's almost like wax. It's still a little hot. But I'm surprised it actually turned green. Like it goes from the sort of white, transparent color of a milk bottle to green. It's interesting. And now, as for this, I can't seem that there's not enough to really get off there. I've tried to like scrape it off the surface of the water with a knife. I mean, that does work. See, the knife just gets covered in it. But, it just doesn't seem enough to then try to burn. Alright, so seeing as milk cartons didn't work, I've got some different types of plastic here. Now, I've seen a video of this before, like a properly factory made one. And they use plastic like this, so I know this does produce oil. So, I'm going to put all this in there. Just like that and see if I can make some oil using that instead of uh, the milk carton plastic, which is high density polyethylene. But I was also thinking like, who am I to say that uh, it didn't work with the milk cartons because I only got a very slight, small amount of the oil or this substance floating on top of the water. That may have been oil, but I just didn't have enough to get a proper conclusion from it. But anyway, I'm gonna test out this different plastic now. Get that going. I've got heaps of leakages just there and there on the lid of that. Uh, hopefully that shouldn't be too much of a loss, but I just tried to hammer the lid down a little further, but that didn't do anything. So I can't do much about that. Well, there you go, it's already bubbling through. That's a lot quicker than last time as well. That should hopefully mean that the plastic in there is already melted and it's boiling, so, oh look at that. 
heaps of bubbles coming through. It is a very good sign. There are heaps of black looking things floating on top of the water there. Uh, you can see some of it there, that, that looks a bit more yellow, browny sort of black. Um, when I look there, there's like huge chunks of them. Um, hopefully that's a good thing. Is, is oil black? Like black crude oil or something? Is that what I'm making here? Heaps of the uh, black things have built around the end of the little tube there. So I'm not getting any more bubbles through that. That's going to be a pain to clean out. Might just have to get another one of those. So I think I'm going to call that the end of this one. I have to test with what I've got there because it's all just blocked off. So let's uh, stop this. So now is this here that I want to look at? All this stuff here, not sure what it is like at all. I'm actually gonna see if it burns in this. In the little light, little gas mate here. There you go. Look at that. No way. That actually burns. I think that is actually oil. Wow. No way. That is awesome. Look at that. Just a touch on the flame and it lights up. So there you go. I think I just created oil. At least some form of it. Um, you saw it, it lit up and it's, it just dripped, dripped down here to that black gooiness. I think it's actually still burning. I can see it bubbling. Can't see the flame though. Wow. So that is how you do it. If you can build something like that, you can make your own oil. Now, this, if I, if I could make it a little better than that, then I'd be able to process it down to like uh, kerosene or diesel or something like that you could then power your car you'd have to mod it though so it could handle this stuff but that that is one way you can do that from home if you can produce it at a good enough quality but anyway if you did enjoy that video please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to see future videos like this